Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another unboxing. Today we have the ProScenic M7 Pro LiDAR Robot Vacuum. If you saw my video yesterday, you would know that I got the auto empty bin for this robot. I am super excited to try out this robot and see how well it compares to the Roomba S9 and i7. And also how well it does with navigation, pickup, and much more. So let's first take a look at the box itself. As you can see, it says ProScenic Robot Vacuum Cleaner. Box is pretty basic, not a whole lot of information other than a picture of the robot vacuum. And on the side here, we just have some FCC certifications and other certifications, stuff like that. Same as the other side, just a picture of the robot vacuum. And then on the other side here, we just have some different uh, power operating levels that it can use. So enough about the box, let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what's inside. We'll go ahead and peel back the tab here. Now that we have the tab peeled off, let's go ahead and open the box. As you can see inside here, we just have a cardboard picture of the robot itself, kind of a protective layer. So we'll go ahead and move that out of the way. So at first glance, we have our quick start guide as well as our owner manual. So we'll go ahead and open that up and I'll just show you that real quick. One thing I really like about their packaging is they do throw a lot of information in there, which is very nice, especially if you're a new user to the robot or if you're just someone who's never used a robot vacuum before, there's a lot of good information in there. So we'll go ahead and set that aside for now and we'll go in and look at the disposable mopping pads that come with the robot. So I didn't actually count how many came in the box, but I believe there was at least 10 or more. Um, as you can see, they look very similar to the D-Bot Osmo 950s, just a little bit smaller. But we'll go ahead and set those aside for now. There's more goodies in here. Next, we have the actual mopping pad attachment. So we'll go ahead and get that open. So this is the mopping tank itself and the attachment. Um, they also included a reusable mopping pad, which is very nice. I know a lot of people like the reusable ones um, just because they're machine washable. Next, we have our plug-in adapter for the charger that comes with the robot. We're not going to be using this charger base since we have the auto empty bin, so we'll just set that aside for now. One thing that is super awesome about this robot is they include a remote control to control the robot in addition to the app, which I think is very helpful, especially if this is for an elderly person or just someone who doesn't use apps or anything like that. You can still control the robot, which is very neat. And they also include batteries, which is very nice. So on the remote, you have your home button, your directional buttons, your play pause button, mopping buttons and spot and clean. And you can also control the fan speed. The next thing we have is a extra HEPA filter. I'll go ahead and show you that real quick and then we'll just set it aside. The next thing we have are some extra side brushes. We'll just set those aside for now. And last but not least, we have the charging base that comes with the robot. I'll go ahead and show you that real quick. It's just a standard charging base, and then we'll go ahead and set that aside. All right, let's move this box out of the way, and now it's time to open up the M7 Pro. Here it is, the M7 Pro by ProScenic. One thing I do like about this robot is how clean the design is. It looks very shiny and just really appealing to the eyes. So we have our basic LiDAR sensor on the top, our brush roll, our side brushes, our wheels, and two charging contacts, one for the auto empty. And then we have our dustbin empty port for the clean base. All right, now let's go ahead and do the fun part of peeling off the peel on a new robot vacuum. This is my favorite part. So once again, a quick look at everything that comes in the box. We have our robot vacuum, our mopping pads, our mopping pad attachment, our charger, our filter, two side brushes, 
a remote, our quick start guides, and our power cord. All right, so here's just a quick close-up of the dustbin itself. Just wanted to show you guys the auto evacuation port. And a little bit about the dustbin. It's about the average size dustbin, I would say. So next, we'll walk through the setup process on setting up the robot with the app. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open the ProScenic app and we're gonna hit add a device. Next thing we'll pick the M7 Pro. And then now it wants us to hold the home button to turn on the robot. Once the machine is fully powered up, it wants us to hold the home and power button to configure the Wi-Fi settings. Then once we confirm that we've done that, it'll ask us to enter our Wi-Fi password and confirm our network ID. And that's it, the robot is now fully set up. The robot is fully set up, the only thing left to do is test it. So I spread some dog food down. Let's go ahead and see how well it does.
this is everything that is left over from its cleaning run. As you can see, it did a very decent job. I'm very impressed with it. Let me know what you think in the comments. That will do it for today's video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you are interested in purchasing this robot vacuum, I have a link in the description with a $60 coupon. In the next clip, I'll show you how loud the self-emptying bin is. Again, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.